friends, I'm Shweta Singh, Assistant Professor in Vianney Girls College. I welcome you all on the behalf of GuruKPO.com. We are going to study about transcription in eukaryotes. Eukaryotes, as we all know that eukaryotes are the most complex organisms as compared to the prokaryotes, which is the primitive organism. So we are going to discuss about the transcription in eukaryotes, how this process occurs, what are the steps, what is required for the process of transcription. The main thing that is to be keep in mind is that the main enzyme responsible for the transcription is RNA polymerase 3. Second, this is the main uh, enzyme which will help in the synthesis of the mRNA. As we all know that the process transcription, it is a process of mRNA synthesis, mRNA which is, which is, which is required for the synthesis of proteins for the further functioning of the body. So this process is the synthesis of this particular strand, mRNA. Now how this occurs? These are the steps. In the process of synthesis of this particular strand of mRNA, we require various transcription factors which are called as TF. For example, like I have written TFD, TFA, similarly like B, then H, E, so these all are the transcription factors which are required for the process. So first of all, what happens, there is a phase that is called as the initiation site and just adjacent to that initiation site, they present a box which is called as Tata box. So first of all, transcription factor D will bind to that Tata box. And then just after the binding of this Tata box, Another transcription factor will come and bind. This is transcription factor A. It will bind immediately upstream to the TFD, the second step. In the third step, what will happen? The TFA, it will relieve the repressor, which is very important because after relieving the repressor, only then the whole process will be active. After relieving the repressor, just then TFB will attach to the promoter. Just after the removal of the repressor, TFB will come and then it will bind to the promoter. After that, B will loosely bind with this TBP. TBP is Tata binding protein. These are the proteins which are binding with this particular box. These are called Tata binding proteins. So B will bind to this, but it will bind loosely, not tightly. After that, the next transcription factor is TF, TFF. This is very, very important because it is combining along with the enzyme, which is the RNA polymerase second. Along with this enzyme, this is coming and binding to that particular site, adjacent to the start point. After this whole uh, complex, the TFB, it will interact with this TFF along with the enzyme. TFB, it will interact. Then the process of transcription will occur. So the main, the, in the end, what was the important? TFF enzyme and TFB. These three things were important for the synthesis of transcription. After the whole process, when the mRNA strand, it will get formed, the process is called termination. The whole process has to be terminated at a point and the termination it occurs through the stem and loop structure. What is this particular structure? This I'm going to tell in my next video. Uh, so for more details, you can log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.